Hi, Mike Foster from Live Life 365 here for a quick message about helping your fellow man uh, from the devastation uh, of the earthquake in Haiti. Um, you know, I'm sitting here in my room, uh, in my uh, nice, beautiful room, uh, in a beautiful house, uh, in, a, in a beautiful uh, town in Northern California. And I sit and reflect and I think how uh, blessed and, and lucky and, and how, uh, well, how happy I am to be uh, where I am and to live the life that I live with my wife and my family and my friends, to be able to work hard and uh, to, well, to, to live the life that, uh, that I'm trying to live, try to be the person that I want to be. But none of us know what it feels like unless it's happened to us or to someone we know uh, what it feels like to have all that taken away. Like that. And uh, what happened uh, to uh, the poor uh, souls in uh, Haiti can happen to anybody. It's not just because they're a third world country. It's not just because uh, they're in the, the middle of... Uh, the Caribbean. It's not just because they were in the wrong place at the wrong time when the 7.0 earthquake hit. Things like this happen to anybody. It happened in Katrina in, in uh, New Orleans. It happened and in the Gulf Coast. And it happened uh, in uh, uh, several years uh, back uh, when the uh, tsunami hit uh, the Indian Ocean. Uh, it happened at 9-11 in New York City. It happens all the time in uh, in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, and uh, Iraq. It's happening all the time uh, in the African nations through genocide. Uh, the world is a paradox. It's a wonderful, beautiful, amazing place. It's also filled with suffering, and sorrow, and horror, and evil, and sadness. The one thing that we can do is besides understanding that when you live your life to its fullest and live in the moment, the moment that we have right now, and understand that suffering is a part of that moment, besides trying to deal with that each individually and not, sh not make it worse by uh, complaining or wishing that things were different, by accepting that, the other thing that we can do, and the thing that I want to talk about right now really fast, is do everything you can in the spiritual sense, in the volunteer sense, in the humanitarian sense, to help people that are less fortunate than you are, that uh, have been struck by acts of uh, nature, things that happen, things that happen, devastations, catastrophes, acts of sadness, and, uh, well, devastation, like I just said, like what has happened in Haiti. So what can we do? Well, you can, you can send out positive uh, energy, good thoughts, all day long, which is a good thing. But the main thing we can do besides jumping on a plane and flying out there and, and volunteering, which they don't want you to do because uh, there's too many people out there, believe it or not. And uh, a country like Haiti cannot handle all that traffic. What you can do is what I'm going to do. And my company that I work for is matching everything that we do financially. You can give money. Give as much money. Give five bucks. Give a couple bucks. Give ten bucks. Give fifty bucks. Give a hundred bucks. Give a thousand bucks. If you're rich, give a million dollars. And that people are doing that. So give as much money as possible. People are starving. People are dying. People are lying in the street uh, with no place to live. People are buried under rubble. If you can't go out there and lend a hand and reach out and embrace your fellow man, which is what we all want to do, you can do it in many different ways. But the two main ways you can is to give of your heart and your prayer 
and uh, your positive energy and give of your money. One thing we, most of us Americans, are lucky enough to have is always a few bucks. Even the most downtrodden, devastated Americans have a couple bucks. And if you can't afford to give a couple bucks, that's okay. Don't feel bad. But most of us can. And most of us, like myself, where I'm blessed, that have a few extra dollars, give. And I'm going to give. And I'm going to give. And we should all give. And this is not a political statement. This is not a statement uh, to make you feel guilty. This is from the heart, part of my triad of balance, where I try to always work on my mind, my body, and my spirit. And one of the spiritual things that you can do every day are acts of kindness, are uh, voluntary uh, efforts, and giving to your fellow man all the time, but especially when he's down and out and he needs it the most. Give. My heart goes out to you uh, folks in Haiti and all around the world. Peace.